You know, sometimes the best member boards are the cheapest ones you never expected to be good, which is kind of the case when it comes to the Gigabyte Z790 UDAC, which despite its boring name is actually one of the better Gigabyte member boards of this generation, and it can be all yours which is $195 all while having specs that are, in some regards, better than some more expensive Gigabyte mobile boards. Because like I've been documenting on this channel, Gigabyte are weird. Starting off with CPU power, here we have a very solid configuration starring 16 plus 1 plus 1 power phases rated at 60 amps. For this price, that is actually pretty good, especially seeing how much, especially on the B760 side of things, even on similarly priced boards, motherboard manufacturers have been cheaping out, so that's all fantastic. Plus, with two full 8 pins, you could use this motherboard with pretty much any CPU, while still having some headroom left over for overclocking. And then there's the PC expansion, which... Gigabyte. Are you feeling okay? Because you actually gave us a lot of options here for once. Because here you get a whopping full, full-length PCIe 16X slots, with of course the main one being PC Gen 5, and even two, two 1X slots. That's right, Gigabyte, the same company who are so determined not to give us 1X slots on the more expensive mobile boards are giving us two here. What's going on? And the craziest thing is that they didn't cheap out an M.2 either with three slots in total, though sadly they're all PC Gen 4 rated, meaning that none of them even support PC Gen 5, but whatever, that is still really good for a motherboard that, might I remind you, is only $195, and even has six set of connectors, which is also awesome. And now moving on to the rear I.O., well, it's still Gigabyte, so I think you know what to expect. And if you guessed a lot of USB Type-A ports and barely any audio jacks, then you've guessed correctly, because that's exactly what you get, with 9 USB Type-A ports, with only 4 of them being USB Gen 2, and even a 20 gigabit per second USB Type-C port, which is actually pretty important, seeing how even more expensive gigabyte mobile boards from this generation fail to have a 20 gigabit USB Type-C port. Add to that Wi-Fi 6E, 2.5 gig Ethernet, integrated display port and HDMI, hey, even PS2, because why not? And of course, the sad free audio jacks with no optical split of the speaker, which is pretty much the only strike against this otherwise amazing set of rear I.O. So I gotta ask, Gigabyte, what happened? I thought you were losing your ways, but here you give us a motherboard that is cheap has great PC expansion, has stuff like a 20 gigabit USB Type-C port, and it still looks actually rather good. I mean, I haven't even mentioned aesthetics yet, for an entry-level board, this thing looks fantastic. So why not have you been doing so much bizarre stuff when it comes to your main line of AMD and Inter mobile boards? I have no idea, but what I do know is that this is a pretty good value move board, so if you want to buy it yourself, then our links to it are going to be down in the video description below. And whilst they're here, maybe check out our Patreon, because even a single dollar a month truly really goes a long way, while well, you get awesome perks as well. I'd also like to thank my existing patrons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, Aki B, Justin Rage, Ella Vroniak, John, Balash Relka, Meg Sumner, Shane Allcroft, Lance B, Jesse Herbman, and Chan Odgan. Down is you're going to find our merch store, our Discord server, and our social media links as well. But anyway, that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.